you can write a query letter with AI and you can do that in seven steps. First, understanding the genre in your audience, identifying key elements, crafting a hook and a synopsis, personalizing your query letter, opening and closing the letter properly, then you compare and contrast your book with other books, that's optional. And then finally, number seven, you explain your credentials if you have any. And you can use AI to do all of this for you or simply to suggest language ideas and tone right now i'm in the dashboard of chat gpt but you can also do this same exact thing in jasper ai and write sonic and copymatic and ink and all these different ai chatbots but i'm going to show you with chat gpt the fastest way to write a query letter with ai is to simply ask the ai to write a query letter for you based on a premise of your book and in this case, I'm just using a book that I know because it's one I wrote from my past live series. And it just says, can you write a query letter for my novel, Past Lives, which is about a man, Eric Shooter, the name of the character who finds out under hypnosis that he's a serial killer. So you, if you have an idea for a query letter, you can simply ask AI to write one for you. As you can see, ChatGPT gave you the complete query letter. It is going to give the name, the title, the genre. It's going to give a little story summary. And the more information that you can actually feed into AI, whether it's ChatGPT, Jasper, or whatever the other AI you're using, the more you, details about your novel that you can submit and feed into it, the better query letter it's going to give you. But this is pretty good for just a uh, one sentence prompt. What you can also do is ask AI to rewrite this query letter a couple times, giving you a couple different versions, different formats, personalized to different uh, literary agents. And if you know some information about the literary agent from their social media, um, from their website, from one of their bios on one of the publishing marketplace um, type sites, then you can feed that into AI and AI is going to give you a different version of a query letter personalized for that agent. Okay, I gave this instruction to the AI and this is what I got. What happened was that ChatGPT rewrote the query letter for me, but then it gave me three different versions of personalization, which I think is pretty cool. That could be three separate query letters that you send out to three separate agents, or you could just pick the best personalization that you wanted, and then you could, then you could use that one and submit that one, your favorite. Another cool thing that you can do is simply to ask AI to write a query letter from scratch. So if you're just starting out and you're looking for an idea and you want to write your query letter, you can also just ask ChatGPT or any other AI like Jasper, links in the description. You can ask these AI tools to simply write a query letter for you from scratch. In this case, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me a query letter for a romance novel, and we'll see what happens. It's amazing how quickly the tool work. Now here, they're actually not writing the title in there or the main character. Um, so we can come up with those, but I also, I can ask ChatGPT to rewrite with a made up title in all caps and a made up character name. So now it, there we go. So now this AI has given me a title, Eternal Flames. That's a pretty good title. And we also have uh, a character and we, ha we have a couple character names in here. And so let's read this query letter. I'm thrilled to submit my debut novel, Eternal Flames, for your consideration. Pretty good start. With its dynamic characters, emotional depth, and scorching romance, I believe it will entice readers who relish stories of love, passion, the exhilaration journey of self-discovery. That's not bad. It's a little bit much for the start of a query letter. It's more sounding more like the back cover blurb of a novel, and I'll show you how to fix that in just a moment, but let's see what it says about the story itself. Eternal Flames tells the story of a fiery journalist, okay, so we got a little characterization, who has always been fiercely independent, so we got fire, fiercely, eternal flames, I like the connection with the words and the descriptions, fiercely independent and focused on her career, okay, so a boss babe, but when an unexpected encounter with her childhood friend and first love, Asher Wilson, 
reignites long buried desires. Luciana must confront her fear of vulnerability and learn to trust and love again. Okay. So we have some stakes, we have character, we have a little conflict, we have uh, consequences for those uh, actions. As they navigate the complexities of their past and present, they discover that their flames burn brighter together than they ever could alone. I'm loving this connection with the fire. With its steamy scenes, heart-rendering motions, and unexpected twists, Eternal Flames is a novel about the transformative power of love, the importance of facing one's fears, and the beauty of taking risks. Okay, so I like this. I like a lot of it. I might you know, dial down the the first um, paragraph. I definitely want to add a few things in here, like the word count. But overall, it's a pretty good query letter from basically scratch. Next, I want to show you something that's a trick where you can train AI to write a successful query letter for you. This is how you train AI to write a successful query letter. First, you just Google successful query letters in whatever genre. I'm gonna stick with romance since that's what we used before. So you can go to any of these different responses and results for successful query letters. And I'm just gonna to go to this first one and scroll down to the query letter. And here we go. I'm gonna just copy this and paste it right in here to chat GPT. There we have it. I went ahead and I copied and pasted three successful query letters from three different romance query letters that actually worked and got people literary agents and publishing deals. So I made sure to only copy and paste successful romance query letters. So we got three different ones, copied and pasted that above. And then I wrote this simple little prompt into AI to, hey, write a query letter based on that information. And I went ahead and kept this eternal flames because I like it. And we're going to see what AI gives us. So I'm going to save and submit. We should get an even better query letter because now we've done a little bit more feeding information into AI and a little bit more of training AI. Here's what we got. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm excited to introduce my 85,000 word contemporary romance novel, Eternal Flames, which I believe would be a perfect fit for your list. So that's a much better start than the last one that was a little bit too exaggerated. And now we get to um, right here, we get to the story summary um, about the character. Cruz is a successful journalist, always put a career first, leaving little room for anything else, especially love. But when then unexpectedly reunites with Asher Wilson, her childhood friend and first love, she is forced to confront her past and the feelings she has been bearing for years. As they navigate their complicated history, she must learn to open up and trust and love again while Asher struggles to overcome his own demons. So there's lots of conflict going on here. And with a strong focus on character development and passionate romance, and I think that's good with any literary agent, but if we know that our literary agent or publisher or editor, whoever we're sending this to, if we know that they're big on character development, then this would be a great line. Eternal Flames is sure to captivate readers, at least we hope. It's a standalone novel with serious potential, that's something that you can throw in if you want and includes a diverse characters, including Latinx and black representation. So again, if that is something that the publisher is looking for, that the literary agent is big on, or you're just passionate about, then put you might want to put that in. I'm, I'm a member of the Romance Writers of America, only say if it's true, and have previously published short stories in various anthologies. I believe Eternal Flames would appeal to readers who enjoy um, these other uh, authors. So thank you for taking time to consider my uh, submission. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regard. So this is a, a better query letter. Now, I liked some of the, the flames and fire language in the in this story summary. So you could use that story summary. You can mix and match. But overall, I think this is a better query letter. And guess what? If it's not something you love, you can copy this, paste it somewhere else, and you can just keep hitting regenerate response until you get a query letter that you like. And you can continue to guide and subtly nudge the AI writer that you're using toward the kind of content that you want to create. And if there's a certain query letter that you really like, then you can paste that above and use that as a template. That's how you write a query letter with AI, by giving AI really good information, really good prompts, guiding it and shaping it into the perfect query letter that hopefully will be successful for you, get you a request for 
um, a full manuscript and literary representation and ultimately a publishing deal. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. There's going to be another video coming up right now on your screen that I think you'll really like. And I hope to see you in that next one.